Hello everyone. This study is about how community members make sense of automated decision making. I'm Yubo Ko, the presenter. The second author is Xinning Gui. We are both from Penn State. Uh, our research is motivated by both empirical observations and theoretical interests. And so first, there, there has been an abundance of empirical evidence that AI systems are dropping into communities such as facial recognition systems in neighborhoods and automated moderation in online communities. And so theoretically, we are interested in three lines of thought. The first is that ex the existing explainable AI research doesn't pay much attention to how users themselves develop explanations. And the second is how HCI knowledge such as frameworks and the theories could be applied to understand and design human AI interaction. And the third, we want to understand the community AI interaction where humans are analyzed not as individual users of AI systems, but as a collectives who have their own culture, norms, and value systems. Uh, our study site is League of Legends, one of the largest online games today. And the game is notorious for its player's toxicity, and the game developer Red games use AI technologies to detect toxic, toxic behaviors and then issue automated punishments, such as chat restriction and account suspension. Um, players are punished to, for punished do not necessarily understand why, and uh, so many of them go to the official forums to seek help. And in this context, we studied the official forum to understand uh, how players develop explanations for automated punishments. Um, first, we noticed that uh, players were concerned about the internal workings of the AI system. In this example, player 23 asked why they were banned for 14 days, and then player 24 explained that there were thresholds in the AI system that would determine the severity of the automated punishment. And the second finding is that players relied upon community resources, such as shared values and the norms to explain. Uh, in this example, player five asked whether the automated punishment was fair. Player five supported, and the player six supported the automated decision and explained that Player 5 indeed repeated hate speech, which violated the community norms. So Player 6 didn't need to talk about the internal workings of the AI system to make the explanation. Our third finding is that players also made explanations based on platform policy. In this example, when Player 9 asked why they were punished for doing nothing, Player 10 disagreed and explained that by citing the platform's zero tolerance policy. The platform policy here is also a form of a community resource that players use to explain the design philosophy behind the AI system. Again, players didn't need to cite the internal workings of the system to make an explanation. We showed that people who are impacted by automated decisions do not necessarily understand those decisions and need explanations from their community. Previous literature on explainable, explainable AI is mostly about how we can provide accurate information about how the AI system thinks. What this study showed is that explanations are fundamentally social and situated. People develop explanations through conversations with their community members, and oftentimes they draw from their community resources, such as values, norms, and platform policies to make plausible explanations. Uh, in this paper, we also use the activity theory as a theoretical framework to connect explainable AI, human AI interaction in the community. I can't explain elaborate on this due to the time limit, but you can find detailed analysis in the paper. Thank you very much. That's our talk.